Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chemical Engineering channel and we are bringing our lecture number 3 which is on mass balance and in today's lecture our contents are that we will first discuss the concepts related to the mass balance and number 2 numerical related to mass balance but in addition to these two things which we are doing from our last two lectures in this lecture there is a uniqueness that we will be using the software which is engineering equation solver double ES for the mass balance. So if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe the channel, click the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. So the concept is very simple. Total balance is equal to mass in should be equal to mass out law of conservation of mass will be applied in component balance, component fraction accordingly associated with the mass in. If there are four mass streams, then accordingly, if we are talking about the particular component associated with each mass stream is equal to component fraction multiplied by the mass out. So that is the total balance and that is the component balance which we will be applying today. And again, the concept should remain the same, but we will be doing some complex task today. And how that will be complex? Let's move to the numerical number one. Milk with 3.8% fat and 8.81% fat-free solids is used to produce can concentrated milk. The process includes separation of the cream in a centrifuge and concentration of partially defatted milk in an evaporator. So we can see that there is a centrifugation system and there is an evaporation system. And now the components have been increased. Earlier we deal with just one component in the system but now there are three components fat, fat free solid and water. If the cream that is produced in the centrifuge contains 55% water, 40% fat and 5% fat free solids you are required to calculate number one how much milk is necessary to produce a can of concentrated milk that contains 410 gram milk with 7.8% fat and 18.1% fat free solids number two how much cream and how much water must be removed in the centrifuge and the evaporator respectively assume steady state so if you are still confused with this description let's move on to the process flow diagram and see it so that is the X which contains FFS as 8.1%, fat as 3.8% and that is going to the centrifugation system. The cream is produced from here which contains 55% water, 40% fat, 5% fat free solids. The mixture or the product from the centrifugation goes to the evaporation system. The water is evaporated, obviously it will be 100% water. And then the final product which is 410 gram with a fat free solids of 18.1% fat of 7.8% and obviously the remaining quantity will be water to produce this much amount. So we know the value of product flow, we do not know the inlet flow. So X, C, W are unknown, while if we say it as P some or any other duration which you, you would like to give it, then accordingly we just know the value of the product. But again we know at each stage the composition, that the inlet composition in the cream, in the water and in the product. So we can apply first the total balance and then the balance and accordingly today the balance will be increased because there is not only one component but there are three components involved in the system. So the total balance is or the overall mass balance is x is equal to c plus w plus 410 that is known. FFS balance and that is equal to 0 0.081 which is associated with the feed is equal to 0 0.05 which is associated with the c which is cream plus 0 0.181 which is associated with the product as you can see from here as well. This one 8.1%, 5% and 18.1%. Cx are unknown while 410 is known quantity. So accordingly we get the equation of 0 0.081x is equal to 0 0.05 of C plus 74.21. Now we apply the other balance which is fat mass balance 0 0.038 multiplied by x is equal to 0.4 multiplied by C 0 0.078 multiplied by 4 and the same concept and 0 0.038 multiplied by x is equal to 0.4 multiplied by c plus 31.98. So now this is equation number 3 and if I take equation number 2 over here. So we have to solve these two equations simultaneously and number 1 as well. So we have got three equations and accordingly we have got three variables. So it means that degree of freedom is 0. If you remember the concept that degree of freedom is equal to number of equations minus number of variables or we can say number of variables minus number of equations. The total equations are this one is 2, this one is 3 and this is 1 and what are the unknowns x, c and w. So degree of freedom is accordingly 0. 
So once we simultaneously solve it, we get the answers feed to the system is equal to 920.8 gram. Cream removed in centrifugation C is equal to 7.528 gram. And the water removed in centrifugation is 55% of what the cream is. And that is equal to 4.14 gram. If we take you back to the process diagram, you can see that the composition of water in cream is 55%. So the total amount multiplied by 55% give you the water removed in the centrifugation process, which is going with this cream. And water removed in evaporated W is equal to 503.3 gram. And that is calculated that we know X, we know C. Product was known, so remaining was the W that is 503.3. So that is by solving or by the manual calculations. But if we use some software to get our desired results in seconds, then definitely that will be the helpful method. So what we are going to do, we are going to now talk about the WES software engineering equation solver. Now you can see from its interface that again file, edit, search, options, calculate. Obviously you have interested today with the calculate option. And again you can see this one, this tick one will check the equations. It will check the degree of freedom that if number of equations and number of variables are completed or the required one and degree of freedom is zero. And then this one, the solve one will give you the final answers. So what we need to do, we need to simply copy paste our equations over here and we need to first check whether degree of freedom is complete. Once it is complete, then we will move to this second part, which is solve. So as you can see, all three equations are now placed over here, copy pasted simply. So click on this dub tick and you can see there are three equations and three variables. No syntax error detected. Compilation time is zero seconds, obviously. And then click on the solve and three equations in top. And accordingly, C is equal to 7.528, W is equal to 503.3, X is equal to 920.8. So these are the three values which we have calculated. Although in our slides, we have seen four values, but that was 55% of this value. So you can simply say like WA is equal to 55% multiplied by this C. So again, the variables will be now you can see illegal character was counted by evaluating 55%. So obviously you need to assign it the value of 0.55. And now you can see that four equations, four variables. And once you solve it, you can get the answer directly over here. So it's up to you. You want to do some manual calculation or you want double ES to provide you the overall solution. So that's how you have solved your numerical number one. You can solve it by hand calculation or better way is to use some software and directly get the values from here. So now we will move to numerical number two. And this numerical is a bit complex because it contains now more components. And what are these components that according to some indications, crystallization of honey is avoided if the ratio of glucose to water is equal to 1.7. Given the composition of two honeys, honey one, which is H1, glucose 35%, fructose 33%, sucrose 6%, water 16%. Honey H2, glucose 27%, fructose 37%, sucrose 7% and water 19%. So we are required that find the proportions in which these two are needed to be mixed so that the ratio of glucose to water in the blend is 1.7. So this is a mixing example and what will be the composition of the blend. So once we calculate all these parameters, then we can simply say it and looking at this diagram that H1, glucose 35, 33, 6, 16, H2, 27, 37, 7, 19 respectively we need to calculate the composition of this blend and we will start with an assumption because there are too many unknowns obviously we have to take some assumption that we will select 1000 kg of blend for calculation so we will say that we know this value of hb that is equal to 1000 and accordingly we will calculate h1 h2 and then we will calculate the composition of it so again applying the overall balance and then component balance now there are four components glucose fructose sucrose water and then there is another equation that glucose to water ratio should be 1.7. So overall mass balance H1 plus H2 is equal to 1000. That is sure. Glucose mass balance 0.35 associated with H1, 0.27 associated with H2. This one is, is represented as G glucose multiplied by the HB, which is 1000 as we have assumed. Similarly for fructose 0.33 multiplied by H1, 0.37 H2, F multiplied by 1000. For sucrose, same 0 0.06, 0 0.07, S. For water, 0 0.16, 0 0.19 and W. So these are the simply component balance and overall balance we have applied. But we cannot be limited to this because now there are five equations and we have six variables. If you see H1, H2, this W, 
S, F and G. So it means there are six variables and five equations. So what we need to do, we need an other equation and from where we will get that equation from the numerical statement that glucose to water ratio G over W is equal to 1.7. So this is equation number six. So now we have six variables. Now we have six equations. So again, using double ES and placing all these equations over there and taking our result. So now you can see all these equations, six equations are placed over here. All the unknown variables are here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we will click on this tick. There are six equations, six variables. So we can simply click on this calculate to give us answer. So this F 0.3538, which is fructose, G 0.3024, which is glucose, H1, which was the first honey, 404.6, H2, 595.4, S, which is sucrose, 0 0.06595, and water, 0.1779. So you can see within few seconds, we have solved that problem, which we have to solve by hand, and that would have obviously taken much time. So finally, concluding that with the basis of HP is equal to 1000 kg, the amount of H1, which is honey 1, is 404.6 kg. Honey 2 is 595.4 kg. And the composition of this HB, that this G, which is glucose 0 0.3024, fructose 0 0.3538, sucrose 0 0.06595, and water 0.1779. So you can see that we have solved material balance, but quickly and efficiently by using double ES. But you have to be very careful once you are copy pasting the equations and also writing these equations and making sure that degree of freedom should remain zero. So now let's do it and comment your answer that how much glucose syrup with 20% concentration has to be mixed with 100 kg glucose syrup with 40% concentration so that the mixture will have 36% glucose. So the component is single. You have a mixing problem as that of what we have discussed in numerical number two. And I would request all of my valuable viewers to simply calculate it using double ES. It will be easily available. And please provide your answer in the comment and then we can discuss in our upcoming video. So that's it from this lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more videos.